Hey, what is going on, everybody? Thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight, we're ripping open another box from the legendary Sean Tiford collection. This is actually box number four that we ripped open. Three, I actually, this is the third one we've done on video. I opened up another one, but the uh, footage got deleted on accident. Um, so this is the fourth one. There's still one more to go. Sean Tiford is a subscriber in Philadelphia that sent us five of these huge boxes full of top-loaded cards that were just amazing um, beginning two weeks ago. So we're going to go ahead and rip into the next mystery box here and see what Sean sent. Very excited about this. I've already started sending a decent amount of these cards back to you guys for FMF responses and things of that nature and whatnot. Like I said, you're more than welcome to send me an email and uh, you know inquire about cards that you like that you see in here. But um, it's just tons of amazing stuff we've seen before. And it looks like we are in for a real treat again with this box. As you can see, there are tons of top-loaded cards. Um, I see Donnie Baseball on top, uh, 87 Tops design, and a great mixture all around. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into these. They take a while to pull out of the box. There's so many in here just packed in. Not sure if Sean is in here or not, but we've seen autographs, vintage cards, rookie cards, relics. You name it, it's been in the last few boxes. So we'll go ahead and check these out. Pull them out stack by stack and see what we have. Hey, Boom Slang and everybody else, thank you for joining us. I should have pulled these out prior to starting the live stream, but uh, I like to do it with you guys. The overall shock value of it. There's a note as well. Sean originally sent these for FMF uh, two weeks ago, I believe. The notes that I've seen have been the same, so we'll check this out real quick. Though. This is um, part one was three different boxes, and then there's part two is two, so five total. But it looks like it's the same note as, not, as last time, but I'll read it anyways. As promised, I'll bite much sooner than I thought. I am sending you three more boxes that I pulled together while cleaning out the collection just as before. There's a lot of base, but there are a few nice items and rookies here and there. Of course, keep what you want for your collection. Share with your brother, and please send some to your viewers. I think you'll enjoy exploring what is inside for Friend Mail Friday. Regards, Sean Tiford. Very, very generous of you, Sean. Cannot wait to check out what's inside. I see some autos right here off the bat. All right, I'll put some of these aside for now and start going through the sets, the stacks that I pulled out already. There's tons of top-loaded cards. Each one of these boxes was about, I think, 20 to 25 pounds a piece. And they are a very nice variety of vintage to modern cards. Let me fix this, lower it down for you a little bit so it's easier to see. Start going right through them. Start off with Mike Piazza. Deki Matsui. I'm not going to read all the names, but just show you what we got here. So we have some nice uh, variety of newer rookie cards here. Some Topps Chrome rookie cards. Some Mike Trout. And a Bryce Harper. Jose Fernandez starting points. Rest in peace. Mark Teixeira, Topps Chrome. These are refractors as well. Felix Hernandez. So a lot of nice modern cards as well. Joey Votto there. Anna Brooks Robinson, hometown heroes card. Hey, Ray T. Boom Slang says, just, just got the phone. Don Blomdahl, he's helping me out with eBay and Patreon. Great guy. People go check him out. Don Blomdahl definitely is. It's a nice Randy Johnson turn back to clock card. Up Jim Palmer. So a lot of Hall of Famers in here as well. Harmon Kilbrew, Cooperstown card there. And we'll see a lot of Phillies in here as well, at least we have in the last few, few boxes. Uh, Sean definitely PC'd the Phillies, him being from Philadelphia. George Brett 91 Tops design. I can't say they've ever seen these. I'm guessing it's going to be a uh, bottom box card there. Jackie Robinson. Here's a nice one. 
Howard Highlights, Nolan Ryan, seventh no hitter. Very cool. Jim Tommy, Truy Tulowitzki. And we have some. There's a good bit of these in the other ones too. Shea Hildenbrand, Hildenbrand Miguel Batista, Chase Utley, and Fuego. And some older 90s inserts. These are what I used to chase after when I was, whenever I was younger. 94 Fleer Ultra. Career Achievement Award to Hall of Famer Dave Winfield. Fleer Ultra, I feel like we're always rife with insert cards. What truth says that there's a Nolan Ryan rookie card I call dibs? That would be pretty amazing if there was a Nolan Ryan rookie card in here. I actually bought the Nolan Ryan rookie card for um, 50, 50 bucks at a flea market when I started collecting again back in like 2013 or 14. Um, Tim Lincecum rookie card. Nice one there. Can't say that I've ever seen that one from Bowman Heritage. Just bought a few of his rookies not too long ago. And I want to say, dear, someone sent me a couple that I didn't have either. So that's a nice one, too. Cy Young Award winner, Tim Lincecum, Nolan Arenado, Eddie Murray with the 83 Tops design, Ichiro, Miguel Cabrera, Schwarby. See you later, Lloyd. Just something for everyone in these boxes. Paul L. says, Linsa comes top up, tops update from 2007 is one of my all-time favorite cards. I'm not sure if I have that one or not. And we have everyone's favorite set here. Triple play. Trout and Jeters. Or Jackie. Joey Votto, Sandberg. It's a nice older 90s uh, insert there for the kid. Aaron Judge and Jimmy Fox. Two small stacks down. We still have a giant, massive box to go through here as well. Corey Seager rookie card. Nice one there from Herman Derby. Didn't have that one either. Cooperstown. A Tyler Duffy rated rookie card from Domino's Optic. Oh, looks like a refractor parallel there. And I can't say I've ever seen these before either. Cooperstown cards for Clemente. These are also from Panini. For a couple years old, I believe. Robin Yount. It's pretty nice. Has the year they're inducted in the hall. Tom Seaver. Very cool cards. Rest in peace to Tony Gwynn. Left us too early. Very cool insert cards here. Whitey Ford and Yount. Ian Happ rookie card. Not a nice one. Bill Dickey. Trey Turner. And there's a Larry Walker rookie card. 90 Don Russ. He may get in the Hall of Fame very soon. A lot of people are hoping and pushing for it. And Juan Gonzalez, raid rookie from 90 Don Russ as well. Not the uh, reverse negative, but still a very cool card from the Junk Wax era. David Wells, it's actually his rookie card, 88 Don Russ. And Ken Caminetti, his rookie, 88 Don Russ. Also a 88 Tops Caminetti rookie card. And an Allerud uh, rookie as well. So a couple Junk Wax era rookie cards here. Loved, uh, loved these cards when I was younger. Definitely grew up with those. Rest in peace to Caminetti. Love seeing those older Junk Wax rookie cards. And there's a Sosa as well. His 90 Don Russ rookie card. Ryan McMahon. Austin Meadows. That's a nice one. Tops Chrome rookie card for rookie debut. Manny Machado. And some Don Russ Optic parallels here. Altuve. Another Tyler Duffy. So some pretty big names in here. And some newer Bowman Chrome. Haven't seen too many of these. Cindergard. Back to triple play again. <laughs> I know how much everyone loves those. Sandberg Hometown Heroes. And Chris Bryant. Um, highlights card there. That's a pretty cool one. Wrigley Field. Uh, Ivy on the, on the side there. Donaldson Lindor. Chris Archer. Carlos Correa. Looked like the older uh, Don Russ Elite cards from the early 90s. <laughs> Boom Slang says, geez, John, I think you're starting to like the new cards. I've been seeing a lot of them lately. I do like newer Stadium Club cards, though. I definitely uh, have said that before. Uh, I, de I do like those. They are grown on me day by day. Johnny Cueto, Will Myers, Chris Davis Power Zone card. 
the Miggy and a Chris Brown with the 84 Don Russ design there. Newer Don Russ card. Uh, lots of variety in here. We've seen a lot of these 83 Tops designs as well. Garrett Cole. Our Aaron Otto. The big unit. And Strasburg. And I see a golf card in here as well. Burt Blylevin. It's an interesting one. Hall of Famer Burt Blylevin. Cooperstown Golf Classic. Might be a card that Tim Shea would really enjoy if he were in here. I'm not sure if he is or not. A lot of uh, Cooperstown induction cards in here. Bruce Suter. A lot of cards I've never seen before as well. Hey, David. It's a cool one. Fleer greats Nolan Ryan. And also a blown-up edition of his rookie card from 68 Tops. I'm going to say the last box we looked through at a Gary Carter. This might have been in there too. I can't remember. But uh, really cool. Not sure what year a lot of these cards are. Glavin Sanchez. Dylan Bundy, Chris Bryant, Sandberg, and Johnny Bench, the 83 Tops design. Hey, CLG. Chet Lemon says, anyone caught in the hurricane tonight? Paul L says, I thought Ryan should a rookie with Kuzman or somebody. Yeah, he definitely does. Jerry Kuzman. Evan Longoria, there's a nice Ichiro. Newer select card. Biggio, inducted in 2015. Larkin in 2012. These are really cool. I'm not sure what year these are. 2015. Uh, Panini Don Russ. Smoltz, also in class of 2015. Tony Perez. Very nice. Mid 90s Larkin insert there. And a Bobby Abreu. We just saw some of these from our break from 2006 Tops the other day. These are 2006 Tops Chrome. But uh, we definitely pulled a few of that Bobby Abreu card, the Gold Glove Award. Very nice. Scott Rowland, another Rowland there. Hack Wilson, Diamond Kings. There's a Clayton Kershaw. Nick Williams rookie card. Cool design on that one. And J.P. Crawford. Joe Morgan and Matt Olson rookie ends that stack out. Lots of nice ones in here. We're probably only about one-tenth of the way down the box. Michael Fulmer. And some more Cooperstown cards here. Willie Mays, Tom Seaver, Bob Feller. So quite a collection that Sean Tiford had stored away. Paul says Roland should be in the hall if Barnes is, in my opinion. Luke Weaver. And there's a nice Griffey there. And there Don Russ. Hey, Dallas Foster and Clayton and everybody else. Thanks for being here tonight. Stack up some more of these. Hopefully you guys are all keeping dry, keeping safe from the storm if you're down that way. Haven't really uh, heard too much about it recently. A lot more stacks coming. We haven't really had much rain up here yet from it. Nice Tom Seaver. Older design there. Adrian Beltry. Richard Urania is a nice uh, rookie card from Big League there. Paul Blackburn, rookie from Topps Chrome uh, Parallel. Chris Bryant, Center Garden. Nice uh, Dave Winfield, 79 Topps card there. Can't say I've ever seen that one or have that in my PC. 79 Topps is a horrible year for quality control there. Tony Perez, <laughs> really bad cut on that one. And a Brian Downey rookie card, 74 tops, and a Verlander. Anaheim Skip says some nice cards in here, definitely. This is, like I said, this is the fourth box I'm opening up, third one on camera, um, or that I posted. Mantle tops chrome, so a few of these we saw in 2006 the other day, but uh, different designs from Series 2, and these from tops chrome. Like I said, um, if you're part of the breaks, if you send FMF, Stuff like that. You can request these cards. Even if you're not part of them, send me an email. And um, I, I have no problem sending some stuff out to you guys. Clemente puzzle card from 87 Don Russ. And some Steve Carlton cards here. 81 Tops. Actually, it's 82 Tops. And Rediscovered Tops, Bob Brenly. 
Gene Segura and Gaylord Perry, 82 Fleer. Jonathan H. actually just did a break on these tonight. Not sure if he's in here or not. I didn't see him, but I uh, haven't been keeping close tabs on the chat. Chipper Jones, nice uh, newer stadium clubs. Club card there with Tim Raines, two Hall of Famers. Freddie Freeman, Olsen, Blackman, Red Barber, McCutcheon, Miggy, Carlos Correa, top Chrome card. That's a nice one. And some nice Penny uh, Diamond Kings that I've never seen these before either. 2014. Very cool. Some more Mantle Tops Chrome cards. They document uh, different home runs throughout his career. D.D. Gregorius, Bowman's Best. That's a cool one. I can't say I've ever seen new Bowman's Best cards. Jordan Hicks rookie card. Hunter Pence, Heritage. Seeger and some 85 tops. Nice. Nolan Ryan and Donnie Baseball, second year card. In nice shape there. Anthony Rizzo, Matt Chapman, Dallas Keuchel, Hugh Darvish, optic parallels there, Warren Spawn, Michael Conforto. As a Piazza, newer stadium club, Donnie Baseball, we saw that one on top, Rizzo, Gary Carr, 85 tops, and we have some golf cards here, Panini Golden Age. Ron Guidry, 82 tops. I want to say there's a couple of Guidrys in the last box we opened in his rookie card. The, uh, was it 77 tops, I believe his rookie card is? 77 or 78, I can't remember. Bobby Jones, Joe Morgan Heritage Collection, and Jack Flatterty. And Bob Gibson, turn back to clock card. Schwarby. Jack Dempsey. We have some golden, more Golden Age cards here. Jerry West. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Holy Calhoun, it's a nice one. The uh, kind of like 84 Don Russ design there. Byron Buxton and Lindor Bowman Chrome. Pretty cool design. A lot of crazy stuff going on there. Very uh, 90s. Bowman Birthdays. That's pretty cool. That's the year that uh, the year they were born on there. Uh, what's going on in the stream? Chaos. Sorry, guys. I wasn't paying attention. Moderators, where you at, Brittany? Sean H. got him. Okay. Yeah, kind of a highly offensive name there. Matt Chapman, Joey Gallo, Tyler Glass now. These are pretty cool cards. Never seen before. Schwarby, Trey Turner, Nick Williams. Adrian Beltry. Some people just don't have anything better to do, I guess. Some newer uh, stadium club again. Chris Bryant. Eddie Rosario. It's a pretty cool, too. I like the design of these a lot. Logan Morrison. Very retro look. Chris Davis. Carlos Martinez. Yadier Molina. And Bob Gibson. Yeah, very highly offensive name there. Sorry, guys, I missed it. See some more uh, mantle chrome inserts in here. I see some uh, rookies as well. Hey, Lidsman. On top, we'll start off with this one. See Matt Williams, 87 Fleer update rookie card. Still like that card a lot. And it was 250 back in the day, I'm guessing. Hideki Matsui, a couple of his cards. The 81 Tops, Gallant, in pretty nice shape there. And Auntie Smith, 81 Tops as well. Always like that card. And some older ones as well. Forrest has just got an Adrian Beltry MLB Independence Day U.S. Flag Patch from 2018 Tops Series 2. That's pretty awesome. And Kenneth Card says Acuna just launched one out. 61 Tops. Always like 61 Tops. This one is... Pretty horribly blurred there, Don Locke. 
always liked uh, very basic design, but uh, for some reason I've always liked it. I mean, it's the colors, I'm not really sure. Earl Weaver, I think we saw that one in the last box. Jim Fergozzi and Gaylord Perry, that's a nice one. And also Alan Trammell, 79 Tops. Like I said, very hard to find nicely centered 79 Tops. Very hard. Big Mac there on top. Clemens and Koji. Probably baseball and Yogi Berra. That's a cool one. Mr. October. A couple of his inserts from the early 90s. Is anyone tops all star card? Home run history. Can't say I've ever seen these. They did these a lot in like the mid 2000s. These uh, home run numbers. Jeff Kent, rookie card. That's a nice one. 92 Pinnacle. Always liked that one. Just picked up two boxes of 92 Pinnacle recently at a flea market. Um, just to send off to you guys and pack lots and stuff like that. Series 1, though. He's in Series 2. But always like Jeff Kent. I still have yet to track down his 92 score traded card. Can't find it. Never come across it for some reason. But uh, that was definitely one I was after for a while and still after. I can buy the set, but I hate doing that, so I want to buy a single of it, but I never see that card at uh, card shows or anywhere. His 92 score traded. I had a problem finding the Wakefield for a long time, and then, uh, dear, someone sent me 23 of it, <laughs> which is great. Adam Wainwright rookie card. Nice one there with the um, fake auto. Albie Pearson and the iconic Sheffield from 89 Tops. What a hot card that was back in the day. Majestic said Jeff Kent should be in the Hall of Fame. American League All-Star Brett sticker there. Pete Rose, 82 Don Russ. Broke a box of those not too long ago and found the Ripken. Did find one Ripken in that box. Pretty sweet. Cliff Lee, 2002 Don Russ. There's a $5 Super Chat from 357 Maggot. It says, hey, John, check out J&W Cards. Great channel and awesome through the mail series on Thursdays. Thanks a lot, 357 MAGA. And uh, thanks for plugging J&W Cards. I know he's in the stream somewhere. Please go check him out when you get a second. Um, I can't remember how many subs that he was at recently, but I know I'm subbed to him. So check that um, through the mail series out. I love seeing those. I know Chris Cards does it every single Monday, and it's really enjoyable to watch him send off cards to older players, Hall of Famers, things of that nature, and get things back in return. Very, very cool and interesting to see that. Pete Rose, 85, Don Russ. J&W Cards, everyone. Check them out. Hall of Famer, Robin Roberts. A Sports Illustrated card there. Is that Killebrew? Yeah, it's Killebrew. And McGuire's first Major League Tops card there. 87 Tops. Love that card. Pretty iconic card of the era as well. Another Rose, 85, Don Russ. Kurt Schilling. Um, Tops Chrome card there. Always like these ones, too. Mid-90s flare insert cards. And um, this is... A, Third year, Mike Piazza, outfield power card. She broke a box of these a long time ago looking for the A-Rod rookie card, and we did find one of it. I want to say Dallas Foster actually got the A-Rod rookie card out of that set, or the box we broke. Our Piazza, uh, mid-90s insert card there. Long ball leaders from Don Russ. Michael, he says, how much is Pete Rose, Pete Rose cards worth? The 85 Don Russ? Uh, if you're talking book value, probably about two bucks. Somewhere around there. The Mick. Cool card there. I've never seen that before. Draw Your Own Card by Cat Ryan. This is from 2000. That's pretty neat. I like that. I'd like to see some other ones like that. Pete Rose, 83 Tops, with the uh, Super 80s hairstyle there. Two of those cards. And Mantle Home Run 15. So we have some more Mantle Home Run numbered cards. Mike Pentagrass says, John, can I get some Braves cards? Yeah, just shoot me an email, man. Shoot me an email. Sean T was very generous sending me all these cards, so I'm more than happy to send a lot off to you guys. And there's the iconic Reggie Jackson, 69 Tops rookie card reprint from Tops Reserve. And this looks like a refractor, a parallel of some kind. Still need to pick up that regular card for my PC. I know Eric has a couple of it. Mike, uh, my email's in the description of every single one of my videos. So if you check out there, um, you'll find it. Piazza Hitting Machines from mid-90s Fleur Ultra, Gene Rollins. 
Chrome, Scott Rollins, minor league cards there. Him, Ryan Howard, Generation Now, 81 Tops, Brett, All Star. And we know a lot of vintage cards in here as well. Bonds, Point of Impact, never seen this before. Pretty cool. 2000 Fleer, nice one. Die cut card. And Jason Bay. A nice new Miller Willie Mays card there. Greats of the game. Maggio. Derek Jeter Technique card. It's a nice one from Skybox. Can't say I've ever seen that before. George Brett from early 2000s Leaf. Michael Heath says sell them. Now I've been uh, I've been sending some of these off. People that request them and whatnot that send me uh, friend mail and uh, even people that buy in the breaks, I'll throw an extra one in here and there. But um, if there's anything you see on here that you want, let me know. I'm more than willing to send them off, send some stuff off to you guys. A Munson, older uh, 70s Munson card there. Eddie Murray, one tops. like that one a lot. Huge sideburns. Killer Brew Cracker Jack there and our Killer Brew Decade Leaders. Rose and Bobby Mercer, 74 tops. A lot of Pete Rose cards in here too. And Paul Casanova is really cut pretty bad. Nice 69 tops there in good shape. 68 tops is an awesome set. Love that one. Like to get more of those. Amos Otis just picked up the Clemente like that. The uh, 73 tops recently. Will Clark, 86 tops traded. Nice one there. Not a lot of value to it, but always liked that card. Always liked Will Clark. And Smoltz rookie card. Two Smoltz rookies from 89 Fleer. Looking very distraught in that pose. Here's a really cool one. I don't think I had this one in my rookie collection either. Roberto Almar. Old Robbie Almar. It's a Leaf edition as well. Very cool. I never even saw these whenever I was younger. Didn't see those or even knew they existed until years later. But I always like that Robbie Almar, even though I've seen it so many times. So many times. And I have so many of the original card here. Um, the Robbie Almar regular Don Russ 88 rated rookie card. Still a iconic card from Junk Wax era. Doesn't hold a lot of value to it or anything, but Roberto Almar is in the Hall of Fame, so it's still a nice one to have for uh, your PC if you collect rookies. I'm a Misfits says, no 88 Don Russ, bad memories, LOL. <laughs> See, I used to love 88 Don Russ whenever I was younger, but uh, as the years went on, definitely had a sour stance on it <laughs> overall. Scott Rowland, Bowman's Best from the late 90s. A couple of Scott Rollins there. Hey, Collector Holic, Bench and Joe Morgan. Pudge and Johnny Bench. Pudge looking really angry in that one. Start 2000, Scott Rowland. I used to like those cards a lot. Pulled some of those out of the pack. Big Mac, home run chase. And there's Larry Walker again. Kellogg's Murray there in the early 80s. I think I sent Jonathan H. a Nolan Ryan like this. Maybe it was a smaller a smaller version. Eddie won uh, Kellogg's card. Kind of like Sport Flicks card. Dave Winfield, 80 tops, and Ryan Howard, Dick Perez, sketch card. That's a cool one. Pull some more stacks out of here. There is plenty more. Two dollar super chat from Chad Hopkins, close friend of the channel. It says, hey, John, sorry I'm late. Looks like great stuff. Well, thank you for being here, Chad. Appreciate that super chat. Very nice of you. We are... Um, Right about halfway through now. We've seen a lot of awesome stuff in here. And here's our first autograph from uh, Panini Prism there. You guys can see that. I'm not sure if you can because of the glare. I'm getting some new lighting soon, so hopefully everything is illuminated like crazy. And there's a Chris Herman, or Chris Herman um, select rookie card there. Definitely pulled one of these. It's numbered 8 out of 99. Definitely pulled one of these out of... Um, a Fairfield box not too long ago. Not him, but uh, I forget who it was. Craig Breslow, maybe? Nice one. Garrett Atkins on card auto. Check to see if it's numbered. It is not, but uh, Moments of Milestones. Cool card there. So we're getting into the autos now, a few of them at least. Um, another Garrett Atkins. Star signing on card auto there. Very cool. Never seen this design either. Paul Ellis' Atkins was a beast for a few years in the mid-2000s. And there's another one. 11 out of 199. So a nice low number there. Trilogy. 
Very cool. It's very nice looking cards. Fleer Greats, Carlton there. Miguel Sano, rookie card. Wilson Contreras. I don't think I had that one either. Bob Gibson, Legend of the Fall. Yesel Pueg. Carlton, 83 Tops. And 83 Fleer. A lot of these Hall of Famers from the early 80s, I've never seen these before, so this is pretty awesome. And some 82 Tops here. Mr. October and Carlton. In pretty nice shape, too. A little off cut, but uh, sharp corners on them. Nice Tony Gwynn Generations card for a quarter. I think that's like a decent price. Seems like it at least to me for a newer insert card of Gwynn. <laughs> John says it's got to be the greatest, the biggest collection of Garrett Atkin cards ever. Kurt Shaw on our McGuire, 87 tops, and Reggie Jackson, 82 or 81 tops, all star card. And there's some more autos over here. I guess I didn't show these yet. Randy Wolf and Brent Myers. Um, on card autos here. I believe these are on card autos. I know these uh, mid 2000 Bowman's cards had the uh, autos on them, but what is this? There's an Aroid, some sort of small subset. Jason says, How much for the whole box? This is pretty neat. Um, what is this? Old school fences, those aren't autos. Yeah, those are facsimiles, I guess. Up for a second that they were like some sort of newer tops signature series card, but I guess they're not. They're just um, standard autos. Very crazy CD, A Rod CD here. Can't say that I've ever seen this or knew these even existed. Or how do you even, I guess you could play it like normal, maybe. I don't, I don't know. That's pretty wild, though. I'm like, real intrigued by this. Mike's is electronic baseball cards. This is pretty sick. It's like for DOS. Check that out. I don't think my new computer, uh, my newer computer has a CD-ROM drive, but uh, I think my older one does. I still have Windows 95. Very cool, though. Cool piece of memorabilia there. Never seen that before. Shetlands is sticking to PC. I see a Gary Carter on top here. Chris Weaver would love that, says Chad Hopkins. Not sure if Chris is in here or not right now. Some more mantles, newer uh, or mid two thousand tops cards. Alfonso Soriano rookie card. We saw a couple of those in a recent box. Really cool. And a few more Alfonso Sorianos. Probably something Boom Slang would like. He's a big Yankees fan, so if you have any Yankee stuff, send it his way. Older Kellogg's Winfield Chase Utley, Tim Lentz would come again. Very cool. And World Series game number two. A's make it two straight. It's a cool card. Ramirez Skylines. Another Ramirez. Joe Morgan, 80 tops. And some Molitor, 81 tops there. Either looking at uh, fly ball or looking real baked. <laughs> Not sure which one it is. And some Molitor, or Molitor, 80, or 81 Kellogg's cards. And Yount Kellogg's. And Robin Roberts, nice one too. <laughs> Boom Slang says, okay, John, stop with the mantles. My bucket is full of saliva from looking at them. I could definitely send some of those your way, Boom Slang. I know there's a ton of them. There's a ton of them in the last box too. Um, a lot of repeats and whatnot. Robin Roberts again, 84 tops. Pete Rose, looking disheveled as always in his early 80s cards. Jason Lewis says, these are all awesome. Thanks for letting us see them. Well, thank you for watching, man. I'm glad I can share these with you. Some very nice uh, condition, 82 tops here on Johnny Bench. Tony Perez, 84 Don Russ. 84 Don Russ is such a hot set right now. Eddie Murray, Canseco. Um, second Don Russ card. And we have some newer Allen and Ginter cards here. I have no idea what the most valuable card in the box yet would be. I honestly couldn't tell you. There's so many newer cards in here. I don't really know the value of any newer cards at all whatsoever. Mike Stanton. Ahmed Rosario rookie card in Revolution. Pretty cool. Two-hour super chat from Mess of Things is just popping in. Where is this box from? 
Uh, this is the fourth box sent in by a subscriber named Sean Tiford. Um, he sent five boxes two weeks ago. We started ripping into them, and uh, just a crazy amount of top-loaded cards in here. I see a Jose Cruz Jr. Auto, on card auto there. I would have flipped out about that if it was 1997 right now. <laughs> flipped out. That's pretty awesome. Thank you very much for the super chat. A mess of things. Yeah, just a lot of vintage to modern autos. We've seen relics, a Hall of Famer. I mean, tons of Hall of Famers, rookie cards, all kinds of stuff. Here's a ten dollars super chat from Donald Blomdahl. It says, "Greetings all. Enter my five 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 entries midnight tonight. That means for five hundred fifty five subscribers. Prayers for chasing Donnie baseball that he will regain his health. Six ten soon. Seven hundred seventy seven is his goal." Thank you very much, Donald Blomdahl. Please check him out if you're not sub to him. That's who uh, Boom Slang was referring to earlier. And uh, definitely prayers for chasing Donnie Baseball. I wasn't aware that uh, he's having health issues at all. Um, but definitely uh, all the best to you, chasing Donnie Baseball, and hopefully everything is okay. Hang in there, man. Thank you very much, Donald Blomdahl. Please go and sub to him if you would. He is growing pretty quickly, and he's going after his next tier, 777 subs. And $2 Super Chat from Austin Farmer that says, here's the last of my two weeks paycheck. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Austin Farmer. I actually have something going out to you probably tomorrow um, for an FMF response, some of those packs and whatnot. So got some cards to send to you soon, man. Thank you very much. Justin Rogiano and Lance Broadway. So some more on-card autos, moments, and milestones. Those are nice-looking cards. I like those a lot. Donald B says, that's why Chasing Donnie Baseball has not been streaming this last week. That's very crappy to hear that. I did not know that. All the best to him. And Lidsman22 with a $2 super chat says, here's some money for the postage. Thanks a lot, Lidsman. Really appreciate that. Lucas Gordon, on-card auto, season ticket there. And a Tyson Brummett rookie card there. I like that set of select. That's, select. that's pretty awesome. Pat Burrell, Fleur Traditions card. And our Garrett Atkins. So the Garrett Atkins collection gets even bigger here with more on-card autos. Chet says, CB, CDB for chasing Donald, Donald, Donnie Baseball is a legend very well liked around here. I don't think he ever really comes in my live streams. I'm not too familiar with him. And a Ben Grieve on-card auto. That's pretty awesome. I remember Ben Grieve from the 90s when he first came on the scene. He was a big prospect. Um, very shabby looking autograph there but that's pretty awesome though 17 out of 50 for ben grieve very cool i like that one and um boof bonser on card auto solo sigs yeah all the best to chasing donnie baseball i hope or i wish you a speedy recovery man with whatever's going on um scott thorman on card auto spx young young stars there in the early 2000s. So a lot of autos in here, as you guys can see. Jason Wentz is Booth, one of the best names in the game. A couple more there. Um, not numbered there. Jeremy Hermita and Sean Marshall. Special endorsements. Frank Catalanato, Trading Places. Top certified SIG and the Jason Lane auto fax signatures. That's actually 247 out of 800. So and Dallas McPherson. Tons of autos in here. Jose Guillen for the Nationals. Pretty awesome. Before he left baseball altogether, I think he left baseball in about 2010. Plagued by the uh, PED scandals. Lidsman, I'll check it once the stream's over. Thanks, man. Uh, Brad Halsley, 73 out of 350. The Diamondbacks. And Jason Castro, Athletes of the World. It's a very generic-looking card there. <laughs> very, very generic-looking card. It's interesting. 2011 Upper Deck. And we on to the last stack of this pile. And a two-door super chat from Chad Hopkins says, John, do you know about 89 Keith Comstock card? Funny. You know what? That's ringing a bell, but I can't remember what it looks like off the top of my head. Please refresh my memory, Chad Hopkins. Thank you for that super chat. 
Uh, I see a John Crock 93 tops in there. Thanks, Jason Lewis. You too, man. Jose Cruz Jr., on-card auto. Like I said, if that was 97, I'd be flipping out over that. I was definitely part of that craze. I remember pulling his rookie card out of a bone pack um, after skyrocketing in value and was so psyched until a month later when it was worth a nickel. <laughs> I was so pissed. Carl Edwards Jr., rookie card from uh, 2019 Top Stadium Club. It's a nice one. I like that card. Tons of autos in this box. Henry Rodriguez, on-card auto. Austin Smith from uh, Stars and Stripes. And I can't read the name on this one. Cornell Prime? Or Corel Prime? For the Rockies? Keenan Middleton. See you, Donald Blomdahl. Thanks for stopping by. Some Eddie Murray stickers from the early 80s. Chase Utley. Tough stuff. Rip out there or pull out. And some Hank Aaron cards here. Cool design on those. DiMaggio. Several of his cards. And here is the awesome Frank Thomas 90 Fleer update card. Thomas's Fleer update rookie card. Always liked that one. Very cool. And his 90 Tops rookie as well. I think there was like two or three of those in the last box that we opened from Sean Tiford. Not a lot of value to Frank Thomas rookie cards, but uh, I still love them anyways. Still awesome. Dave Durango says all these top loaders. There's a ton of top loaders in here, man. It is overwhelming. And there are some 80, 80 tops cards of two Hall of Famers, Trammell and Dawson. Paul Ellis is wearing a Frank Thomas jersey shirt as we speak. That's pretty sick. Mike Smith had never had the update. You can usually pick up the uh, Fleer update set for five bucks or less. The Frank Thomas card, book value on it's like two bucks. You can usually find it in dollar bins and whatnot on card shows. Still a cool card, though. I never had that one when I was younger. Brett Myers patch relic here. Game worn jersey from 2001. We've seen a lot of Brett Myers stuff in uh, the last few boxes. That's cool. And a a John Crook 93 Tops porcelain card. I've seen a few of these recently, and these are actually numbered too. 26, 26 out of 5,000. I want to say Eric bought a few of these, um, or maybe one or two of them, something like that, at the antique mall. I think he got like a Griffey 89 Tops traded card. Pretty cool, very, very heavy. Nice paperweight there. John Crook in the uh, clamshell case. It's a cool one. I don't have any of those. Digging some more stacks out here. So we still have one more box of these to rip through. Not tonight. We'll save it for another night. I'm going to try to put out, um, give you a different video every day of the week next week if I can. And try to mix them up between toys and cards also. Jim Manel says, I see an 81 Tops Molitor. No doubt about it. We see some more autos in the next stack coming up here. I see a lot of cards that aren't in top loaders either. I'm not sure if we'll go through all those or not. But I see a lot of 91 Tops in there. I also see an 82 Fleer Carlton. Um, we'll definitely skim through them anyways, though. A lot of autos in this last one, it looks like. Lots of them. Some 82 Fleer, 82 Fleer, Carlton Palmer, 81 Fleer, Burt Belay, 11, 82 tops. All very nice shape, too. Um, Sean definitely took care of his cards. Mark Teixeira. There's that McGuire, 87 tops again. Adam Wainwright, tops finest. I always like tops finest. If you haven't checked out Eric's 93 tops finest, throwback Thursday, yeah, check it out. It's pretty cool. Used to like that set a lot when I was younger. Some more, uh, tons and tons of on-card autos here. I'm not going to read them all off. We'll check them out real quick so you guys can see them because there's a lot to go through. We're already approaching an hour here soon. Kevin Franson. And Sean Riggins is the last one there. This, this whole stack, I think this whole stack is autographs. I mean, it's close to it. Wow. Another Garrett Atkins for you. 14 out of 15. Very cool. Lots of his autos. A ton of them. 
probably we've probably seen close to a dozen now. Another Garrett Atkins there. Corey Sullivan. I always like this uh, this year of studio, 2004. Neat design. The uh, back drops there. Russell Brannion Auto. That's pretty awesome. Another one of his autos. Boom Slang said he must be a neighbor. Lots of autos. Yeah, these boxes definitely can be overwhel <laughs> absolutely overwhelming. There's just so much awesome stuff in here. Our Atkins. <laughs> Chris Bolton says no Canseco auto. Um, we do have a Canseco auto, actually, man. Maybe you didn't, you might not have seen it, but uh, there's a Canseco auto, man. The PSA DNA certified 86 Fleer Canseco auto. Direct from Jonathan H. Sitting right next to me, like everything always is. <laughs> Kevin Hooper ends that one out, but okay, don't burn the box. <laughs> Jeff Baker starts his one off. Josh Fields. All these are numbered too. Hector Jimenez. So many autos in here. Very, very cool. Sean. Josh Anderson. Another Atkins. Jonathan Malone, Felipe Polino, Ryan Cook. These are cool signature series. I like these a lot. Corey Burns. That's pretty awesome. Troy Percival from uh, Toff's Archive signature series. That is pretty sick. Definitely a name that I grew up with, Troy Percival. like that one a lot. Very cool. Chris Stewart is on top here. Paul Elsa's love Troy Percival. Jeff Baker again. And Lyle Overbay. There's that studio again. I like the 05 too. Those are pretty cool. Gavin Floyd, 152 out of 221. And Dan Johnson, mid 2000s Bowman Auto. Atkins again. A lot of uh, Lyle autos in here. Lyle Overbay autos in here. Joe Benson, and it looks like we're out of the autos now. There's a vintage Bob Conley, rookie stars of 59. That is a cool card. I always like the design, pretty sick. And Mike Piazza and Dan Heron. Um, 265 out of 275. It's a cool card, too. Austin Farmer says, didn't I send you that Conley, John? You know what? I was thinking about that for a second. I think you did. Um, I don't know if that was last week or two weeks ago, but I'm pretty sure you definitely sent one of those cards. I think it was Bob Conley. Marlon Bird. Pat Burrell. A few of his cards here. And Jim Tummy rookie card. Very nice. Very nice. And Michael Heath says, seeing Barry Zito. Uh, there was definitely some in the last box. I want to say we saw some of his rookie cards. Um, in the last box we opened, uh, I think it was a video I did about a week ago. Love 91 Bowman. I will always love that set, no matter what. And we stand. Um, upper deck from the mid-2000s. Johnny Bench. Some from 79 Tops. And Future Gems, James Loney. Palmiero. Ready rookie card. Always like that one, too. Even though he's a PED guy, I still like it regardless. Dimebacks team card. Mike Costanzo. Eric Young. I always like these signature series cards, too. Uh, from 95, I believe these were from. Leaf signature series. Somebody sent me Eric Plunk. I think there's a Sabo and an Eric Plunk from this set that somebody sent me. It might have been Chris Weaver. And some Nolan Ryan collector's cards there from Ralston Purina. Ralston was the company that made all the awesome pop culture series in the 80s. Real Ghostbusters and everything else. It was Ralston. Really cool card here. Club 3000, usual card, May 13th, 58. This is a newer Fleer card, but a very cool die cut card. I like that one a lot. Fleer 2000. 
Somebody said Tomate didn't juice. Yeah, that was uh, Palmero I was referring to, was the juicer. Tomei was an amazing player. Pat Burrell, some more of his cards. Barry Larkin rookie card, very nice. Two of his 87 Don Russ cards. Mark Reynolds rookie card. Two R Super Chat from Boom Slang. It says 18 away from 600. Thanks to all who subbed. Thank you very much, Boom Slang. Only 18 more to go to his 600 mark there. Please help him out with that. Give him a sub. He is constantly putting out videos. Um, Lots of good stuff on there. Prince Fielder rookie card. I just uh, sent somebody one of these today that asked for one because I had two of it in the last box. And Josh Johnson. Prince Fielder's career ended too abruptly there. And we're getting close to the end. We still have some more left, though. But uh, getting down there. See, Gary Templeton on card auto there. That's pretty cool. Gold Cup card. Pull some more of these stacks out. Some more Ryan Howards here. Bobby Abreu. Check out Boom Slang. Check out Texas Sports Cards. He's close to 100 subs. Matt Clark on card auto. Drew Hutchinson. That's pretty cool. Like that one. Darnella said, just sub Boom Slang. Well, thank you, Darnella. There's the Abreu. Brandon Webb. Playoff honors card there. Miguel Montero, 18 out of 75. Ryan Madsen, never seen these before. Bowman Originals, interesting. Here's an awesome one. I like this one a lot. A Dykstra Leaf Stars or Gold Leaf Stars from 94. I definitely remember when these came out. I never pulled out a pack, though. And they're numbered, too. Sick. 1229 on 10,000. That is freaking awesome, man. Like that a lot. All these, all these older... Um, Scarce insert cards were always out of 10,000, which is, is nothing nowadays. But back then, it was the numbered cards were not really a thing yet. So the elite cards, if you pulled one of them out of 10,000, it was like an insane, huge deal because they were so hard to track down. Chad Hawkins says almost like elite cards. Yep, all the elite cards were out of 10,000 too. But, I mean, I don't know how many packs of Don Russ that I've opened and, and not found an elite card. They're so hard to find. I know Eric pulled one. A long time ago, he pulled a Crime Dog Elite card out of 91 Don Russ, I think. Bought a pack at a store and bought and pulled that card. I was real, <laughs> I was real jealous of him that day. Tolwitzki, rookie card there. It's a cool one from Fleer. Never seen that one before. And some Derek Lee rookie cards. Very nice, 94 per deck. Mulder Road to Cooperstown. Mulder was one of my favorite players. Well, probably my favorite player in the mid, mid to late 90s. Where I stopped collecting. I was really big on Molitor. I was going after all his cards. I think that was one of the highest cards that I bought back then was his rookie card back when it was valued around 100 bucks. 78 tops card. Now you can buy it for like 10 a lot of times at uh, flea markets and card, or not really card shows, but mostly flea markets. You go around at antique malls, stuff like that. You can usually find older rookies like that for about 10 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that. The 60 Tops, always liked this design. I want to say there's a, a Maz in the uh, last box. Cookie Rojas. Texas Sports Card says, y'all are the best. I got six subs tonight. Sweet, man. Thank you guys for summoning each other. It's awesome. Phillies team card there from the 70s. Uh, Adam Lind, or Lind, uh, rookie card from Tops Finest. Marlon Bird. Gold Leaf Rookies, and there's a Manny Ramirez rookie card from 92 Upper Deck. I always like that card as well. Best card in the set, hands down. And Pat Bureau again. S Steven Drew, a couple of his cards. Michael Kadire, Kobe Rasmus, and there's a Big Hurt Pinnacle card there. Chipper Jones, Gold Leaf Rookies from 93. like that card a lot. Third year card, Nolan Ryan. Uh, greats the game. Another cool one, too. Nice Nolan Ryan. Paul L says, Steven is J.D. Drew's younger brother. That's a cool fun fact. I did not know that. Ben Sheets. Bat relic, it looks like there. Pretty cool. From 05 Studio. And it's Johnny Bench. Reds, greats card. Gorman Thomas auto. I want to say there's one in the last box. Or maybe somebody sent me a Gorman Thomas auto. That's what it was. I want to say it was Daniel Hamilton sent me a top signature series, um, Gorman Thomas. 
last week for uh, FMF. Pretty sweet. On-card auto here. wonder if this is like something that uh, Sean picked up somewhere or if he was a through-the-mail thing or what. Gary Templeton, um, 81 tops on-card on -card auto as well there too. Very cool. Very cool. Gorman and Gary Thomas, and there's another one as well for Templeton. The Gold Cup on card auto for 77 tops. Very cool. Like those a lot. Chili Davis. Nice. So some more autos in here. Chili Davis. 82 tops. Johnny Oates. And this guy, I have a beef with him right now because I just bought what I thought was his air card from 82 Fleer. <laughs> and it turns out it wasn't. Kind of a tricky thing. His 82 Fleer air card, um, what was it? A, it was a spelling error, I believe. There's different variations of the card, but um, made me real angry. I think I paid like three bucks for it too. I was like, ah. Vaughn Hayes Auto. <laughs> I think I made a few comments about Vaughn Hayes in the past. 82 tops, rookie card for Vaughn Hayes. The Joe Negro, 81 Fleer Auto. That's pretty sick. Very cool. It looks like uh, Sean actually bought these from somebody, a private collection or whatever else. $5 uh, mark on the back of there. Steve Sachs, it's actually his rookie card, 83 Don Russ. Pretty sure it's his rookie card, I think. Maybe it's just, that might be his second year, actually. I cannot remember. Yeah, second year. Still cool nonetheless, though. Steve Sachs. Just watched the episode of The Simpsons, Homer at the Bat, recently with Steve Sachs. Gets arrested in it for a crime in, committed in New York while he's in Springfield for the uh, Mr. Burns game there. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. Sal Bando, on-card auto. There's a Piazza with the Mets. Nolan Ryan, another Nolan Ryan. Dare to Dream, cool card. Big Mac, several Big Mac cards. Brett. Fleer, Winfield, always like this card. Had this one when I was younger, and that one as well. These uh, early to mid 90s Fleer Ultra inserts of the professor there. Emotion, if you guys remember that set. Never had too many of those when I was younger. Clemens, uh, 86 Fleer, that's a cool one. Like that one a lot. Gold Nuggets, Clemens, and Maddenly, second year, 85 Don Russ. Maybe someday we'll do a break on 85 Don Russ. Not real sure what um, this week's break coming up is going to be. I haven't decided yet. Um, might be 81 Fleer. Might be 87 Don Russ. Probably put it to the vote. I only did 86 Don Russ um, a while back. So we can always do that again if you guys decide you want to see that. Brendan Morrow. Topps Chrome rookie card. So tons of rookie cards in here as you guys can see. A lot of them. Several Tulowitzkis. Michael Heath, thank you for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Smith, 81 tops. Some more Ryan Howards. There's a lot of Ryan Howards in the one box that I opened up and um, had an issue with the footage. Tyler Moore. Auto there. And it looks like we're down to our last top-loaded stack. Robinson Cano. Um, Bowman parallel here. And we still have one more stack as well after this one. It's not in top loaders. Let's skim through some of those now to see what's in here. Joe Morgan. So it looks like we have a bunch of Hall of Famers in here. Fergie Jenkins. Looks like we have all Hall of Famers in here. Very nice. Love 82 Don Russ. Dawson. There's so many good cards in here, man. Sean Tiefert, thanks so much. Like I said, if you guys see cards that you like, let me know. Tons and tons of Hall of Famers. Mulder 85 tops and 84 tops. Just picking these out at random here. More Golden Age cards. Hometown Heroes. Tim Lincecum, A. Royd, Yount, Cole Hamels.
Fall Creek says, I love 81 Don Russell when the packs aren't screwed up. Yeah, that was definitely a rough break. I always like these Topps Finest cards too that year. Some more Rollins. Dale Murphy. A lot of Murphy fans out there. A lot of people think he should be in the Hall of Fame. And some more Steve Carlton. Seen a lot of his cards in this box. Which is a good omen. And I see some 91 Topps cards in here too. Still trying to go after the 91 Topps Desert Shield set. Looks like these are all separated by team. Fernando Valenzuela. Um, Tom Hanky with those super nerdy glasses. And we have some different ones here. Team USA. Some uh, oddball cards here. Some soccer cards. Darnell says, Maddie Lee Murphy for Hall of Fame. I can definitely agree to that. Some more Hometown Heroes cards here. Not sure how many cards in this set. Samuel says, how do you how are you gonna get Desert Shield? Very limited. Um Yeah, it's tough. They have every once in a while, I mean, they're probably on there a lot of the time, but there's big lots of them on eBay. Um I think I have about 70 of them now. The ones I'm worried about getting, it's probably gonna be like a lifelong thing of trying to obtain the whole set. <laughs> But, yeah, I probably have about 70 of them, 60 or 70, something like that. Mostly are from people that sent them in to me um, for, like, FMF and stuff like that. I bought a few here and there. I probably bought, like, five of them. And then uh, there was a few subscribers that sent me big stacks of them, which is pretty sick. Um, but, like, the Cooper Jones, Nolan Ryan, the, the more higher-end cards in that set get pretty expensive. So I'm not <laughs> have to shell out a lot of money if I ever want to track those ones down. Chipper Jones, I think, sells... I can't remember how much of one sells for, like... It's several hundred bucks. Probably, like, three, four hundred bucks, something like that. PSA, it's an insane amount. Might even be high, as high as a thousand bucks for Chipper Jones. I can't remember. Soriano, minor league card, Lou Brock. I know the Nolan Ryan, I think, sells for, like, 150 bucks, 200 bucks, something like that, for the Desert Shield card. I saw... It was a card show I was at in the springtime. They had... Somebody was selling a box of those of 36 packs for I think eight grand or 8,500 bucks, which is pretty wild, but um, kind of a standard price for those I think. If you find a box of them, if you want to hit it big, go out and try to find yourself an unopened box of uh, 91 Desert Shield. It's so weird too because I don't know how you tell the difference between regular Desert Shield cards or packs and you know tops. I have no idea. There's no way to signify which one's which. As, as far as from what I've seen, I couldn't tell. So I'm like, well, maybe uh, one day to flea market, I'll come across a box of those Desert Shield ones, but I, I can't tell which one's which. Dylan Cousins rookie card, Paul Molitor, 81 tops again, bench. But, yeah, if I want to get the whole set, it's like a kind of a lifelong thing. I don't, I don't put together sets anymore at all, but uh, I thought it would be kind of fun to try to track those down one at a time. There's still some set builders out there. It's a nice Griffey with, with the Reds. Louis Severino, rookie card. Prince Fielder, rookie. We saw a couple of those in the last box. And the 77 tops, Necro and Ryan, strikeout leaders card. I want to say I sent that one to Jonathan H. a while ago. I see a Derek Lee Electric Diamond card. Very cool. Did not have that one. So... You can see here, there's, these boxes are just packed full of stars, Hall of Famers, future Hall of Famers, autos. Blake Snell. Kershaw, USA, U Darvish rookie card. Justin Bohr, Wilson Contreras, Bone Platinum. Last stack of top loaders. Teixeira. I like that one a lot. Any Pettit. Minor league card. 92 classic. Another classic for Pettit. Eric used to be a huge Any Pettit fan back in the uh, early to mid-90s. I think I was too. A-Rod limited edition uh, minor league card, I believe. Maybe not. 2000. Topps gold label. Jones and Banks. That's a cool one. Nolan Ryan tosses fourth career no-hitter. 
Brooks Robinson, Ichiro, and, well, look at that. Very nice condition. Dale Murphy and Lance Parrish. It's actually Dale Murphy's second year card. I actually auctioned one of those off over the weekend that I had in my PC. I think there's a little crease right there, but uh, the corners on this card are pretty nice. Usually when I find it, uh, this card's pretty beat up, rounded off edges and whatnot, but very nice uh, looking card there. First glance, centering's pretty decent. Chris Bryant, Rizzo, Bowman's best, Trey Turner, and Prince Fielder, rookie card. That's a cool one, too. Can't say I've ever seen that one. I see my girlfriend talking about <laughs> Autistic Family Collectibles says, I saw what his, quote, office looks like. It's it's coming along. It's a work in progress. And I started moving stuff upstairs. And, uh, yeah, I started scattering things around. So we have one more, uh, one more line here of cards in this box. And then they will take up more space in my quote-unquote office area. So we'll go through these pretty quick. <laughs> John H. says the, so the upstairs can collapse. Yeah, I did send John H. some pictures, behind-the-scenes footage of the upstairs, the toy room, and I'm sure he was probably absolutely horrified by it. <laughs> it is pretty bad. Pretty bad in here. I try to stay on top of it, but every time I feel like uh, I'm getting ahead, making progress, FMF comes up, and then there's this boxes everywhere, and and uh, I try to reuse everything, too. I try to reuse boxes. I try to reuse bubble wrap, everything else. I mean, why not? I try to recycle it all. Um, bubble wrap is expensive, you guys. I don't know if you guys have ever gone out and looked at a bowl or a roll of bubble wrap. It's not cheap, really, so I figure why not reuse it? And it just ends up being scattered all over the place. So let's take a look at what we have here in the very last stack. Um, <laughs> Pat Border says, Eric says there's plenty of room in his garage for all John's cards. <laughs> I haven't even looked in Eric's garage in a while. Last time I looked in Eric's garage, it was uh, it was pretty bad. There was, there was cards everywhere. Austin Farmer says, shipping and bubble envelopes are also why I'm broke. And Chet says, bubble wrap is a scam. I mostly use uh, newspaper now. My, like, I don't get the newspaper. My parents like will save me the newspaper because they get the newspaper every day still. Um They'll save it for me. I'll use that to ship with and recycle that. But bubble wrap I'll use for, like, toys and stuff like that. Um, things like that I sell on eBay. Always try to use those. Wrap them in bubble wrap and put them in the box. Some people are excessive with bubble wrap. I don't understand it. Like, I ordered a, a figure recently that came from the U.K., and the guy must have used an entire roll of bubble wrap. This probably cost, like, 15 bucks and shipped it in the box. It was 10 times the size of the carded figure. Like, holy crap, man. Like, do you like throwing money away? <laughs> like, I don't understand that. So, of course, I took it all and reused it. Yonder Alonzo and Curtis Granderson with the 69 Tops design from Heritage, both in top loaders. And it looks like the rest are not. Actually, except for this one, the Tops finest. Numbered 124 to 199. And our Lincecum rookie card. Nice. Samuel says the best price he's found on bubble wrap is at Harbor Freight. Never checked there for it. If you guys are buying bubble wrap, check it out. Jay Bruce, rookie card. That's a nice one. I don't think I had that one either. And Jonathan Malone. I think we saw one of these earlier. Moments and Milestones. On card auto. <laughs> John H. says, guess I'll wait till he's organized. Organized that made space. So maybe I'll meet you, y'all, when my kids are in college. <laughs> yeah, it's probably going to be a long time, man. It's just, and then every single weekend, I go out and buy more stuff. So it's Friday, the room gets trashed again. And then if I start to do any kind of cleanup after Friday, Saturday and Sunday, when I come home from the flea market, it's retrashed. So it's a never-ending work in progress. That's probably eventually going to lead to me being submerged in garbage a.k.a. collectibles. Rick Sutcliffe and Steve Carlton, Sport Flicks card there, and some 86 tops, 4,000 strikeouts. So these are more 
<laughs> Brady says gets free trashed. Austin says sounds like my apartment. It's cozy. It is cozy. Some 84 tops. Jackson's 83 tops. 85 Don Russ and Leaf, too. That's pretty cool. There's the bottom box. The Jackson from 86 tops. 87 Fleer. And a Rusty Wallace. I never really got into racing, but uh, some of you guys enjoy racing whatnot. Rusty Wallace, 89 All-Star winner. Aaron Kinski. Yeah, if you're interested in any of these cards, shoot me an email. Uh, if you guys want to pay shipping for some of the stuff, then uh, I'll be more than happy to send some stuff along to you guys. Giovanni Soto, Simi Sosa. Um, who's that? Jesus Flores, Pat Burrell, and Jack Nicholas, and Arnie Palmer. Arnie Palmer is actually native to uh, our area. There's an airport about 15 minutes away from my house. It's called the Arnold Palmer Airport. Stuart Gink. Can't say I've ever heard of Stuart Gink. Michael Vick, the Dog Slayer. Eli Manning, so some football cards in here for you football fans. Neil Rackers and Reggie Wayne from 06 Don Russ. And we have some Chunk Wax Era cards here, 91 score, 91 Don Russ. Many Trio 80 Tops. There's that Coca-Cola card. It's kind of cool. Regular and Coke. Some 70s cards. Dave Hollins. A lot of Phillies. A lot of Phillies cards. Some vintage as well. Some more Coke cards. And Brett Myers. I used to put those cards in uh, the beef jerky packs. Graham Jim says, how to get shipping costs to you for any Dodgers. That's PayPal. You know, depending on what you want. If you want a few cards, then I can fit them in a, a regular first class white envelope. It's only going to cost you like a buck. But if it's more than that, it might be a few bucks. I see a Dykstra rookie card. Very cool. I didn't have this one either in my PC. We did a break of 86 tops a while back and pulled this card and I was like mad because it wasn't going to my PC. <laughs> Not a very valuable card, but all I collect anymore are rookie cards for the most part. So Justin Leonard, to take that, pull it out of a pack and send it off to somebody else was disheartening. Even though I could probably go buy it for a quarter somewhere if I ever come across it. Billy Wagner... There's a uh, Crime Dog second Don Russ card. Joey Bell, Al Leiter, 88 Don Russ rookie card. And look who it is. Dan Quisenberry. There is no escaping him. Jack Morris, 80 tops. Mike Sosha, second year card. I want to say his rookie card is 1981 Fleer. Joey Bell. 90 Bowman. I always like 90 Bowman set. Jake Borden says, when is a PC video coming out? Um, probably sometime soon. I'll do a recap on my rookie card collection because I've bought a lot since the last one. One of the first videos I ever made with my rookie card collection was like two parts, I think. Um, and they were all unorganized and everything. Like I, I, I didn't uh, sort them out or anything, so... Be like, oh, here's a Tony Gwynn rookie card, and then we go through 10 more cards. Here's another Tony Gwynn rookie card. <laughs> it's just like all over the place. So I have organized them since then. Jake says, that's how I found your channel. Yeah, I definitely feel like uh, my videos have improved a lot since that. Maybe not too much, but uh, I think I'm a little more organized now. Mark Messier, Ray Bork. So we have some hockey in here as well. I definitely had a good bit of these cards when I was younger. Uh, these, like, I don't know, 89, 90 tops, something like that. I think they were somewhere around there. Um, but I sold my entire hockey collection on eBay probably, like, four or five years ago for, like, 50 bucks. I just threw them all in a flat-rate mailer and put them on there. It wasn't anything crazy. Like, there's probably only, like, I don't know, 2,000 cards. But... The best card in there is probably like Joe Sackick rookie card. There was like some Gretzies and stuff like that too, but no rookies. Some of them used, some Yagers, but uh, no real good rookies. Like Joe Sackick was probably the best one and might have been like a Yager or two, but his rookies aren't worth much. 
Tome. Tops Chrome. And here's a 94 Finest Dave Hollins. I'm going to do a break on these at some point. I like this set. I like this design a lot, too. I think I like this design better than I like uh, the 93 design overall. Dave Hollins was a big deal when he came on the scene in 1990. Letter Diamond. A few of his cards there. And we have two more smaller stacks. Actually, three more to go through. So thanks for sticking around, guys. Hey, Legion. Dice rookie card. Dalton rookie card. A couple of those. Very cool. If you're interested in a Dalton rookie card, I can send one your way. A Phillies Chrome team card there. And a newer one. A bunch of Dalton rookie cards. Always like this set, too. The uh, 94 Bones Best. I'd like to rip a box of those at some point as well. I'll have to check out and see what a box of those costs. Um, there's some cool rookies in there. I want to say I picked up the Edgar Renteria not too long ago, but there's some I need too, like Tory Hunter and other ones. I'm going to look at that. Uh, once this video is over, I'm going to check out 94 Bones Best, 95. 95 is probably pretty expensive because you've got Vladdy, rookie card in there. I always liked these insert cards from uh, the earlier Fleer in the 90s. Very random and weird. Darren Dalton standing on top of what looks to be a block of cheese. I guess. I don't, cheese or some sort of um, illegal substance. Kurt Simmons with the 52 Tops design. Solo Matt says you did on all your vintage toys you have. I have done a couple on um, my toy collection, but uh, there, there, I still have a lot to go over. I've been saying for a long time, I'm going to do a video on my childhood toy collection, like all the figures that I played with growing up, and um, raid my parents' attic and go through all those and show them to you. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but uh, I've been very unmotivated to go over there and dig them out. But sometime soon we'll get to that. And the G.I. Joe collection will be next week. I've been saying that for like a month now. I'm still trying to get my headaches under wraps here. And like the medication they have me on for my headaches... Like, one of the side effects is, like, the inability to focus. And I definitely notice it really bad. Can't, like, focus on anything. <laughs> I get distracted so easily. A ton of John Cruck cards. And we have some early 90s Nolan Ryan baseball heroes. Williams, Aaron, a lot of those. Still have... A couple more stacks left, and we will be on our way for the night. Then tomorrow we'll be back for Friend Mail Friday. Um, today I went to my P.O. box and picked up the freaking biggest package that I've ever got from anybody. Um, massive box. Costs 53 bucks to ship it to me. So uh, I have no idea what's in there. Not sure if uh, it'll be a live video or not. My Hoka Dyer. I think that's actually his rookie card, and Vernon Wells as well, too. So, very, very cool. James Loney rookie card. Eric Chavez, I think that's his rookie. Dan Heron and Jake Westbrook, Bowman Chrome. <laughs> Autistic Family Collectible says, The room tour would consist of trying to turn around and fall, <laughs> and fall over a pile of, of quote, collectibles. <laughs> Yeah, you're probably right, man. It would be pretty bad. One of these days, that will get cleaned up. If you if you want to fly up here from Texas, John H., and give me a hand, I could definitely use it. As long as you don't uh, fall into the collectibles and get sucked into an abyss of the 80s. It's a, definitely a time warp. There's a wormhole in there somewhere. I haven't found it yet because it's covered in collectibles. But several Crook rookie cards from 86 Tops traded with the... Sweat hat. <laughs> I always thought that car was filthy because of that sweat hat. They couldn't have told you to wipe that hat off or something like that or put a different hat on <laughs> before they took your picture. It just looks so grimy. Darren Dalton, rookie card, 86 Don Ross. Another one I don't think I had in my PC. Pretty awesome. And a loft of the Metal Universe. One day we'll do a break on Metal Universe from like 94, 95, somewhere in there. They're still kind of expensive for boxes, like 100 bucks a box. Hey, yes, ask the guy with the back problems to help you clean up thousands of pounds of cardboard. <laughs> LOL. It's from Jonathan H. <laughs> Paul Mall 83 Don Russ. That is true. Steven Carlton. He 
Yeah, there is a lot of boxes upstairs and a lot of crap. One of these days, it's going to be all cleaned up. Fingers crossed. So some more golf cards here for Tim Shea, if he's in here. Any golf fans? Jack Nicklaus. Some nice ones in here. <laughs> My girlfriend's just calling the TV show Hoarders. They might take one look at it and be like, we ain't going in there. <laughs> Bunch of Tiger Woods cards. Austin Farmer says, remember, it's collectibles, not crap. That is very true. I love your positive thinking there, Austin. Ton of Tiger Woods cards, Tiger's Tales. He's not doing so well now, though, I guess, with his comeback or whatever. And Hall of Famer Red Schoendeest. A Schoendeest. I never pronounce his name. Worth crap. Prince Fielder Generation Now. It's a cool one. Jonathan Sanchez, Ricky Weeks, reprint style card there. Josh Hamilton, I think that's his second year card. BJ Upton. Austin said Tiger is no longer a Tiger. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's what I. That's what I heard. Philip Hughes, Chrome, Mar or Marshawn Lynch, Jackson, and some Sandberg oddball cards there from Peter and Quaker Oats. 85. So it's third year there. One more little stack here, then we go through the big stack. I'll try to stop talking so much. Palmer. Dawson, I like that card a lot. Always liked SP. I'm not really sure what uh, SP looked like after the year 2000, but uh, the 90s stuff was pretty cool. Bench, some Palmers from the early 80s. Card 82 Fleer. Chad Blingsley rookie card. Carlos Pena rookie card. I didn't have that one either. That's a nice one. Also, his Bowman rookie card. And Lance Berkman, I think that's his second year. 98, his rookie year was 97 for Bowman. Delman Young. Chris Carpenter. Aaron, uh, send me an email. If you guys are interested in getting some cards out of here, just send me an email. Some Phillies or whatnot. There's a ton of Phillies um, in, the, in the other boxes as well. So a lot of Ryan Howard, a lot of Scott Rollins, things of that nature. Be more than happy to show their wealth, the wealth and the generosity of Sean Tiford with you guys. Jake Westbrook rookie card again. Not the crumb this time though. A lot of rookie cards I did not have in my PC in here either, which is really awesome. Daniel Gossett, Taylor Davis. Tyler Skaggs, rest in peace to Tyler Skaggs. Joey Votto, Jago to Rizzi. Seeing some newer Tops cards now. <laughs> John H. says, you better email him before those get buried. Yeah, you better email me tonight because they'll be buried before you know it. Rick Sutcliffe and Jonathan H.'s favorite set of all time. If you guys have any of these cards laying around, Autistic Family Collectibles, he's trying to see how many he can get. He loves that set so much. Um, 91 Fleer. <laughs> Griffey Dream Team. <laughs> He'll take all your 91 Fleer. So if you can find a case of it, that would be ideal. Send it his way. Some more golf cards here. Uh, Roland. So a lot more Phillies. Ron Reed, Gary Maddox. For you Phillies fans, it seems like there's quite a few in here tonight. There's a Coke emblem there. Tug McGraw. Some more Bob Boone's, 82 Fleer, 81 Tops. I don't have that one, uh, his rookie card from 73 Tops. I need to get that one on the PC. Pat Burrell, I think that's his Tops rookie card. A few of those. And the Chrome, very nice. I like that one. A lot of Pat Perrell's Philly, Phillies team cards. So there is a ton of Phillies cards in here for you Phillies fanatics. Lazinski, we saw a lot of his cards in the last box. Very nerdy looking Lazinski. Tim McCarver. Some nice ones there. 81 Don Ross. Another legendary set or break set, I should say, on Throwback Thursday. Larry Boa. 
and some 82 tops. And our last stack seems to be, maybe it's not all Phillies. Hey, Gary Siegel says I need to break into John's house and steal these Phillies. It'll be months, months before he even realizes they are gone. Yeah, that is probably the truth, man. If you want some Phillies, Gary, let me know, man. I will send them your way before they get lost in the abyss of my collectibles room. <laughs> Dalton Phillies card, not sure what uh, Mellon, that's pretty cool. Old Mellon Bank. Probably keep that one, though. That's a cool one. I like that one. I like this 94 um, Bowman foil cards, too, with the emblem in the background. Those are pretty cool. Saw a bunch of those in the 94 Bowman break. I always like that set. Some decent rookies in there, too. We found most of them. Tug McGraw, 82 tops. Kellogg's. Some more McGraw's. Uh, Brazers, Phillies. Never seen these cards before, either. And some more hockey. Matt Sundin, Peter Sundstrom, Tim Kerr. Some newer ones, too. Never seen those. Van Beesbrook. I think I had his rookie card at one point. Chris Gratton. Timu Solani. Pavel Bure. Rookie card. It's pretty cool. I don't know if I ever had that one, but I remember him being a big deal back in the day. Uh, Rusty Wells, NASCAR card again, and Charlie Huff in his younger years, younger 80s. Late Bloomers Walker, that's a cool card. Joe Necro, Hal McRae. Some rookies from 76, Sal Bando, Pete Vukovic. And we move on to the last stack, and we're going to call it a night and regroup tomorrow for FMF at some point. Um, Dave Kingman TCG 85 card I've seen a few of those before I want to say they make McGuire in that set too some more Dykstra cards here Kruk throwback Don Russ lots of Krucks BRLs this one's numbered 117 on 150 actually these are all numbered 127 on 150 so a lot of awesome Phillies cards in here um, cards in here in general are all amazing Jim Tomey, Pat Burrell, the older Gaudi style there. Cookie Rojas, <laughs> looking like Chris Sabo's dad. Jay Johnston, 75 tops. Some more Phillies, Rick Wise. Some early 72 tops here. Can't say I've ever seen that car before. Pretty nice shape, too, overall. Lance Parrish, third year card. Tony Perez, 84 tops. Pete Rose, Kmart card. Pretty cool there. Gary Siegel says, Ro Rojas, Doyle, money equal former fills. And Austin Farmer says, Cookie Sabo. <laughs> Jim Morgan, 84 Fleer. And there's Pete Rose. 85 tops, manager card there. Robin Roberts. Some more Pat Burrell. These are cool cards, too. Um... Gold medallion from 2004 Fleer. Uh, I think uh, I opened some packs of those recently. Probably going to do a break at some point on like 04, 05, 06 Ultra. Uh, they're not too expensive to buy a box of those. And I forget which one of them, but uh, one of those sets has an insert in every single one of the packs. And the packs that I ripped open were pretty pretty nice too. Gene Rowland saw a lot of his cards in the last box. One of the last boxes at least. Chase Utley, Brett Myers, a few Brett Myers cards, and Scott Rowland, Topps Gold Label, ends the box out. And Dave M says, I, I missed out by not naming my cat, Cat Burrell. So as you can see there, that is the box. Tons of top-loaded cards. There's more over here as well, but uh, just a lot of fun going through those and a ton of good cards. So like I said, if you're interested in getting any of those, shoot me an email and let me know. And uh, also, FMF, you want to send stuff for FMF, um, you can always send those back to you in return as well. So keep in touch. I'll talk to you guys all real soon. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow night for Friend Mail Friday, guys. My email is listed in the description of every one of my videos. So reach out to me there, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night.